So, welcome back. Uh, I've not uh, done any videos in a while, but uh, I'm gonna do uh, one or a few more today. But first, we're gonna start with the uh, Golden Scots from the Core Collection, uh, Irish pattern. Um, so, let's begin. Okay, so let's start this pattern, Golden Scots. Uh, first of all, oval silver tinsel uh, so i'm just gonna tie that one in there we are so just securing the tinsel have it underneath the hook This pattern I'm gonna fish with. I tie everything in the full length. So there we are. Not tying on a tree o hook. Securing the tinsel again. There we go. So cutting the tinsel. Then we need to apply the silk. In this case it's orange. I'm using a French silk. Aurora soy. There we go. We have a few nice colors and wooden spools. So I like it. Really nice. I'm gonna use their orange silk here. Same securing the silk, the whole length of it almost. Up to there. So tight wraps backwards. Also tying that one in. And just cut the leftovers. Next step, and topping a tail, a bit of wax. And just even up with the 
Let's try it. There we go. Get a more bags just in case. Prepared a tail. Just wanna make sure it sits where I want. So, Paladin State's Indian crew, we're going to use a substitute today. fibers Step that would be ostrich shirt. <clears throat> so waxing the thread again. Since I'm waxing the thread all the time, I don't really care which color of thread I'm using. So in this case, I'm using a green thread. Doesn't really matter. a bit cutting it off then we have 
gold tinsel bubble gold tinsel just to clarify that I'm going to tie it in the whole length of and we're gonna add a flat golden tinsel so I'm just even up the body so gold tinsel so I'm just gonna tie it in carefully sufficient it's gonna tighten so now the fun part it's gonna warm the wax a bit turns and someone there just securing the tin cell to the thread and then I prepared some Indian crow substitute so let me apply those <coughs> feathers them in I'm 
not really satisfied with the placement of them. have a bit curved Using is uh, pita and ram feathers. Then I think we have ostrich uh, again. Let me see. Yep. So let's find another ostrich herd. Securing the ostrich shirt. Then cutting it afterwards. And we have a few things happening here. It's going to be oval silver tinsel. It's going to be 
black cocacin. Tinsel first. I'm gonna leave quite a lot of room there since we need to have a turn of the black, then we have the golden olive, and then we have the J. And of course, we need to have room for the head, etc. So I think that's sufficient. And once again, I'm using this French uh, silk. time since I bought it uh, before, but uh, I just got hold of the package again, so I like it, it's nice. It's not that many meters though, on this boat. backwards and then back again so sorry almost hit the camera
say it's gonna have a sneak peek. See so I don't miss any spots. I'm gonna turn it a bit. Because I'm gonna use the silk as well to ensure I have an even body. Tinsel just behind it. And here I'm gonna do a turn using what's left. Next tackle, good and only. Just gonna have a few grabs. Then, when the body is ready, I'm gonna prepare the wing and then start the video when it's time to build it. soft on this one or it doesn't really build which is good
the on. Now the funny part, DJ. So, same here, just folding the yay backwards. I'm just going to do a few grabs. Somewhere like that. the leftover and we have some nice yay there just gonna make sure it's tight we have room for the head so that's the body so far. So I'm gonna build the wing now and then uh, make sure to start the video when it's time to add it. So I built two wings. Uh, so uh, let's see if that's sufficient. Um, <coughs> you never know, might need more. But just gonna brush it a bit. in the first one I'm gonna keep it rather short just making sure the heckles don't end up in other things so I'm just gonna add on each side wood dark and golden facent tippets Give it a bit of brush. Looks good. 
just one fiber that didn't want to play game. And then I'm gonna add a second wing. Still need to brush it a bit. longer Otherwise, that might be sufficient. And I have it. I want the fly to be transparent. Maybe just a bit more. Just gonna add a little bit more of chlorican. shiny the color parts really hoping bit more wood dark there with me gonna take quite a lot on each side to give that nice look Changing the camera, sorry. So now we're ready for horns later, and also so I want to add a bit more. Keep 
bit more tape it on each side. side and I have the long part Gently brush it in. Now we have a nice, transparent, lovely mixed wing. look great in the water <clears throat> so I just gonna prepare the next step so I'm gonna put some wax here cut all the leftovers we're gonna have Yeezy on the sides we're gonna have uh, uh, Pada states Kingfisher, but I'm gonna add uh, Pitta instead because Kingfisher just get gray when uh, when wet. Sorry. So uh, take a short break here. So <clears throat> now it's time for YC and also topping and horns. So. Starting with the GC. Just realized I forgot to prepare the uh, pit on the side, but let's do it. In. More thanks to the thread. Using quite a large slab of glue there. Give it some nice shine. Thank you. 
is cleaning from the leftover feathers. I like to have a clean desk when tying. Topping. I'm gonna go with shorter topping. Gonna see how it looks on. reason why I chose the bit shorter topping is that I want, my, want it to press on the top and not being that high. So there we are. So I'm just gonna clean it up, varnish the head. I don't have any brown uh, head cement or varnish, so I'm gonna go with black. But yeah, that's okay. So that's how you tie the golden Scott uh, from Clark uh, Collection. Um, I'm gonna find a link in the description where you can find all the patterns if you like and also I'm gonna add this uh, pattern description um, hope you liked the uh, video and uh, see you in the next one stay safe and take care of it.